guys, Mark Riggs with MDR Photo here. I'm coming to you today because I did something kind of cool. Did something kind of crazy and radical. I went out and got the Fujinon 56 1.2. Basically, this is Fuji's version of a 85 millimeter lens. Um, with the 1.5 crop factor of the X-T2, it gives us a field of view of an 85. It doesn't magnify it. Some people think it magnifies. It doesn't do that. It, it crops it out so you see the same. It, it's still 56. That's exactly what it is. But it sees the 85 millimeter field of view. So, so basically you're shooting 85. You just don't have the same kind of resolution that you would have, you know, because you got a crop factor. But And you don't have the compression. You don't have the same compression. But anyway, I got the APD version, which is a version that has like this filter in it that allows for it to have a creamier bokeh, or bokeh, as people like to say. It, it allows for you to have that more actual 1.2 look. See, the thing with these crop lenses, and the crop factor of the, uh, the, 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 the uh, X-T2, is the fact that while this is a 1.2 lens with an 85, field of, 85 millimeter field of view, it's not an 85, so it doesn't have the same kind of compression. The bokeh, or bokeh, or bokeh, um, won't be the same. It, 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 it still looks good. That's kind of subjective, whether or not you want the more bokeh, bokeh, or whatever. But it's more like having a 1.8 or something like that on your, on your, you know, there's mathematics to what the f-stop and the uh, depth of field is and all that stuff. I, I don't know what it is. I shoot and have fun. It's all subjective to me. But anyway, but that's what this does. I got it because I wanted to see how it compares to this. This is my trusty old Sony FE 85mm F1.4 G Master. The G Master. Love this lens. It's my go-to portraiture lens. Um, I've shot a lot of shots with it. Looks amazing. It's great. I love it. It's just... I mean, look at the size. It's a DSLR lens. It's not, it's not a mirrorless lens. It's a DSLR lens. Difference in size. Same field of view. Difference in size. Same field of view. Difference in size. But it, it's, it's an amazing lens. It really is. And I love everything about it. It does get heavy. So I wanted to see how it's little, and I'll call it it's little brother, the 56 performs. I played around with them both a little bit tonight. I I like how this renders a lot. I love the colors out of the Fuji. Fuji's colors are to dreamy, to die for, or to dream about. But um, they're amazing. Amazing colors. Kind of give you an idea. Working with Fuji colors is like riding a well-trained racehorse. Basically, your job as, as the person who steer, steers this horse is to grab the reins, Put your head down, butt up, let the air flow over you, and let the horse do the rest. That's Fuji. It makes it so easy. Sony, on the other hand, is like trying to saddle break a dragon, okay? You're sitting on this giant monstrosity. It's got scales under your butt. You're trying to avoid the flames. You're a thousand feet up, trying not to fall off. But if you tame this puppy, if you tame this dragon, it is glorious it's amazing the colors you get out of it are just incredible but it takes a lot more work and and because i mean you know there's certain programs that have uh good color uh profiles for the sony lightroom's not one of them uh, i do know that um capture one pro 9 has pretty good ones but as much as i've tried i get frustrated with that program um, I've sat down, I've tried, 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 you know, and I just get frustrated. But anyway, it, it, there, it's, it's, it's a very, very interesting concept, uh, difference between the two different colors that the cameras produce. But, you know, this is about the lens. Um, everyone knows about Sony FE lens. It's, it's amazing. It's solidly built. It's strong. It's sturdy. Metal, I think. But... It's, you know, they both have the aperture ring on the mount. They can both be set to automatic. They can both be hand moved. Um, you can actually turn the click on and off on the Sony, um, which is nice. Uh, in case you're doing video, you don't get that click, 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 you know? It's kind of like turning into a Cine lens. But um, 
it's nice. I like this. It's this 56 is made very well. It's solid, small, light, really nice on the camera. I'm, I'm filming with the X-T2 now because, you know, I really like classic chrome. It makes me look beautiful. Um, I really like this lens. I'm excited to see what it does. Friday night, I'm going downtown. My studio is right outside of downtown, so I'm just going right downtown. We're doing a Halloween shoot. One of the guys is going to dress up like uh, Beast Boy from Young Justice. If you haven't seen Young Justice, it's on Netflix right now. Awesome animation. It's it's based on like DC characters, you know. It gets a little dark, but it's it's good. You got you got. I think there's two or three seasons. And it's really really good. I watched it when I used to work out. Used to work out. Anyway, we're gonna try that out. I was gonna take some strobes out. I mean, uh, speed lights, but I don't have any speed lights for the Fuji. So I'm gonna take at least one speed light so I can make sure I get a shot. But I also want to take out my Rotolite Neos. I'm going to take a couple of those actually. I can throw them in the backpack, take two cameras, two lenses, and just go to town. See what we can come up with. You know, I'll take videos and stuff like that. I'm hoping to have a new cell phone with a lot of space on it by then. Um, but, you know, I, th th this is something that I think will be fun. <sighs> the reason I'm doing this is because I've got a Pentax 645Z coming. I love the Pentax. It's just a completely different beast than the Sony's. I've used them extensively. I love them. I like the files out of them better than Sony's. Um, it's 51 megapixels. It's medium format, so it's a bigger, you know. And I want to see how this compares to this. Because who knows? Maybe I might want to get rid of this. I don't really want to because I love this lens. But the Pentax isn't, isn't a carry-around camera. And it's definitely staying because I love Pentax. And I just got a really good deal on it in the trade. <laughs> in a trade and I love it you know so I want to see how this works so if you have any suggestions post them down below have any cool questions or anything like that post them down below I'm you'll learn from my videos I'm not a very technical person I like to shoot and see what happens um, sometimes good things happen a lot of times bad things happen so it's all subjective on what you like and what your audience likes so I'm okay with going down to this lens if it performs well. Well, I, I shouldn't say going down to because it's not a cheap lens. I mean, it's like, well, I mean, 1500 bucks if you buy it new, you know, 1500 bucks, $1,500. I think it's 1499 This one's 1899 I mean, they're close in price, it, but the size difference is huge, especially on the X-T2. Um, so I'm going to see. So feel free to like the page comment subscribe whatever you want to do share it um i really don't care well i do care because i want you to like my page i want you to listen to things talk with me i want this to be a discussion so go ahead and ask questions say things um as of right now who knows what we'll <laughs> watch but anyway i'm gonna get this out early next week after i get the shoot done get some things processed um look forward to seeing you next week and i hope you have a great day bye <gasps> i'm reaching forward reaching forward